SpaceX is ramping up testing at Boca Chica Starbase, Texas. Ship 24 is stacked on top of Booster 7, and they're doing tests to get it ready for an orbital flight test sometime in February, possibly in March. And there are still a lot of steps for SpaceX to go through in order for this flight to take off. And just recently, Elon Musk took to Twitter to say that a Starship launch attempt will be soon. Now, NASA Space Flight added in a tweet of their own. Does this sound about right, Elon? On. cryo test today then wet dress rehearsal next week d stack for 33 engine static fire final tps work on ship 24 restack the ship launch license possible end of february early march if all goes well per your previous timeline elon musk said that's a good guess so what we can take from this is that they're going to be doing cryogenic testing for the next few days they're going to do a full wet dress rehearsal after that, which means they do everything that they need to do in order to fly the starship, but they don't launch the starship. They get it completely ready to fly. Now, next after that, D stack of the starship, which is on top of booster seven, take the ship off, put it next to it, put it on the ground, put it on its own pad, and then they may static fire 33 engines they haven't done this before they don't know exactly what's going to happen but so far some of the static fires most of the static fires that happened with the booster destroyed the concrete under the orbital launch mount now we've talked about this in the past if any concrete were to fly up and damage any part of the ship whether it's a raptor 2 engine or some tiles on the ship itself there could be some damage that could ruin the flight for ship 24 and booster seven. I have all the confidence in SpaceX that they're going to figure this one out before the orbital flight test. And we know from the past how much Elon Musk exaggerates some of these launch timelines, but we have some actual concrete evidence from SpaceX themselves on Twitter. They say more pics of Starship fully stacked of the orbital launch pad at Starbase. And they show a picture of the fully stacked Starship, but Booster 9 is right next door to it, right beside it. They've also moved Ship 25 down to the orbital pad as well, which is pretty interesting. Now look at this next tweet from SpaceX, though. This is the important part. Teams are stepping into a series of tests prior to Starship's flight test in the weeks ahead, including full stack wet dress rehearsals and hold down firing of Booster 7's 33 Raptor engines. Now, this has never been done before. This is uncharted territory. We don't know what's going to happen when these 33 Raptor engines fire. So this could be the beginning to the orbital flight test and something absolutely amazing for human spaceflight. Or it could go the other way, where the 33 engine static fire could just be too much power and they have to figure out how to contain all this power and there's been talk about a flame diverter in some way, shape, or form that they could put underneath the orbital launch mount to kind of divert the flames away so there's no more damage to that concrete underneath. But we haven't seen anything about a flame diverter directly from SpaceX or from Elon Musk. Actually, Elon Musk in the past said he doesn't want to even have a flame diverter. Just wants to be able to launch this thing from basically anywhere with a very simple layout. And that makes a lot of sense. If SpaceX wants to launch a Starship point to point anywhere in the world, they need to be able to replicate this easily and be able to construct it anywhere. And during these upcoming tests, SpaceX isn't just testing the rocket itself. They're testing the ground systems, all the systems, pipes, wires, electronics, everything that feeds the fuel into the rocket and safes everything that needs to be tested before the orbital flight test. And the test schedule for SpaceX is usually sometime 8 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night. So they have a daily 12-hour window to test Starship in Boca Chica, Texas. Now, coming up in the next few days, we have Tuesday, January 17th, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. There's a road closure. And on Wednesday, January 18th, we have an 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. road closure. And then Thursday on the 19th, we have a road closure. So any time during that window, SpaceX could be ramping up for a cryogenic test and then a wet dress rehearsal of the ship 
and the booster. Now, is it only going to take a few days to get to this point? We're not sure. We don't know exactly what the data is from SpaceX on Starship right now. Just recently, they tested some of the booster. They also tested the ground systems and a little bit possibly of the ship. But we haven't seen a full cryogenic test of Ship 24 once it's been stacked on top of Booster 7. That doesn't mean that they're going to go with Ship 24 immediately with these next few tests. They could continue testing the booster for the next week. They have to make sure that everything is 100% okay before they move on to the next step. And Elon Musk stated that this is the most important launch of SpaceX and also the orbital launch mount and stage zero. Those are the most important parts of this ship. They can't replicate that. They can build a new ship. They can build a new booster. But if they're going to do a static fire on top of this orbital launch mount and something goes wrong, they have to rebuild everything almost from scratch. Sure, they have the plans for it, but it's not a simple thing to replicate like a ship or a booster. SpaceX and NASA are working together for the Artemis 3 mission, and this is literally the beginning of that mission for SpaceX. And they've already had billions of dollars allocated to this program from NASA. So if this doesn't work out well, then SpaceX could get set back months, possibly a year at the most, in order for them to move forward with the next Starship launch for the orbital flight test. Now, if you have a second, could you please hit the subscribe button? And also the like button. I'd really appreciate that. It's not just going to help me. It'll help me a little bit. It'll be great to have you here. I would love it. But if you could take a second and do that, it's going to help you even more because YouTube is going to start recommending you more spaceflight content, not just from me, but from other creators like me who may have a different viewpoint or a similar viewpoint, and you may like them. And that'll be great because you'll get more content. And that's what YouTube is all about, right? So please hit the like and subscribe button. And let's get back to the content. Now, SpaceX is ramping up for the Artemis 3 mission, like I said. And then after that, what are they going to do? The Artemis 3 mission, they land people on the moon. But during that time, SpaceX plans to build a bunch of starships. Elon Musk just said recently in a tweet that they plan on building five fully stacked starships this year alone. So five possible test flights of a starship system sometime this year. Now, if the Artemis 3 mission goes off without a hitch and SpaceX is focused on that, they'll have to land a starship on the moon. And after they get it to the moon and they get people to the moon and come back, what will they focus on? Well, there's more moon missions for the Artemis program, but also SpaceX wants to go to Mars and the next window is in 2024. I think it's September of 2024. So could SpaceX possibly be planning for a Starship launch to Mars in 2024? Highly possible. Highly possible. The inspiration from that would be absolutely astronomical. So I believe SpaceX is working towards that, but also the Artemis program and also getting this thing off the ground to begin with. I mean, they still have to destack the ship. We haven't talked about that yet. The, the heat tiles on the Starship, after they destack it, there's two hitch points at the top of the Starship that are used with a crane to lift Starship up and down. They have to remove those and then replace that area with heat tiles. The heat tiles are more than likely already built. So once they destack it, they'll move it aside and put those heat tiles on. May move it back to the high bay to do that. So that'll take a day, possibly two. And then they'll move it back and they'll restack it, possibly do the full wet dress rehearsal after that timeline. And then we're going to be ready for an orbital flight test, which will be absolutely awesome. And the flight of Starship is going to be the most important flight for space flight ever. The huge cargo, everything that the ship is capable of and sending people to the moon, Mars, and beyond. It's absolutely incredible. And it's going to be happening, hopefully, within the next few months, according to Elon Musk. Super excited. If you're excited about this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you could, leave a comment below. When do you think this is actually going to launch?
I think it's going to be April. I think it's going to be April. They're really, really getting ready for this thing. But I think there's going to be some time in between now and then that something doesn't go exactly as planned and they're pushed back a couple days, maybe three weeks at the most after maybe late March, late March, early April. That's my guess. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. All right. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. This is the end of the video. Why am I wagging my finger like an old guy? Like, get off my lawn, sonny. No, there's some links over there. If you want to click a link, that'd be cool because then you can watch some more space flight content. If you want to like and subscribe, that'd be really great too. Because like I said earlier in the video, you get more out of it than I do. And that's really cool. That's cool to me because I think this platform is very, very cool. And also you're cool. Am I cool? I don't know. Leave a comment below. Don't tell me if I'm cool or not because I don't want anybody to say I'm not cool. It'll hurt my feelings. Give me a thumbs up in the comments too. If you don't have anything to say, just leave an emoji. That would be cool. I said cool like a hundred times during this thing. Anyway, I think there's, there's so much to talk about with Starship and this just, just hits the very top layer of icing. Anyway, there's links over there. Remember we talked about that earlier. There's some links. Okay. Bye. <laughs> this is the most awkward bye I've ever done. Anyway, thank you. I'll see you next time.